Good morning, church family of St. Francis of Assisi on this Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. A special welcome for those who are visiting with us today. Today we hear God's voice revealing Jesus as the Son of God. Both Isaiah and John the Baptist were pre prepare the world for the Lord's coming by describing who he is. But the Lord did not come just to those who recognized these two Jewish men. So when telling the group of Gentiles about Jesus, Peter tells them that God accepts everyone who believes. May God's word bring us to a deeper understanding of who Jesus is. Please let us stand.
Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children, by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleased to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, and crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering, smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from that dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, 
In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being turned open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a little colder than the Caribbeans. Uh, I just came back on Monday uh, just enough to make sure that I am uh, clean, purified. With the feast of the baptism of the Lord, which we celebrate today, we liturgically close the Christmas season and begin ordinary time, which will last until Ash Wednesday in his first phase. The Gospel of this Sunday will be from the Gospel of Mark, whose reading we have started today in his first chapter. The evangelist does not tell us about the childhood of Jesus as Luke and Matthew do. After a few short verses, he begins his gospel by telling us about John the Baptist, the last prophet of the Old Testament, and the first link in the New Testament. John's mission is to prepare the arrival 
of the Messiah. From this moment on, Jesus, the Savior of all humanity, will be the center of all history. John the Baptist does not try to assume a position that does not belong to him. He does not pretend to pass himself off as the Messiah. John the Baptist recognizes that he is nobody compared to the one who is preparing his way. He says of Jesus, I do not deserve to bend down to untie the strap of his sandals. The Gospel presents Jesus as the messenger of God, as one who is going to begin his ministry to reveal the love of the Father. His baptism by John is his first act, his presentation as the Messiah, announced by the very voice of God, his Father. Jesus comes as a promise of justice and hope, God's gift to a world in dire need. The baptism of Jesus not only represents the beginning of his appearance in public, but also constitutes a true revelation of his ministry. The evangelist says that when Jesus came out of the water, the heavens being torn open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice from heaven said, you are my beloved son. I have a pleasure in you. It is the very voice of God, full of joy, that the great mission of Jesus is to begin. In the baptism of Jesus, the Spirit does not come from the water, but from the opening sky. In contrast, in Christian baptism, there is a very close relationship between water and the Spirit. This does not mean that the sanctifying power of the Spirit is contained in the water, but that it, that it is the will of Christ who has established this relationship between water and Spirit. We don't know what Jesus was thinking at the time, nor we do know what John thought when he heard the voice of God. But it's very likely that they were thinking of the scriptures of the prophets, which announced the arrival of the Messiah. And the church offers us the beautiful words of Isaiah, the prophet, who puts in the mouth of the Lord the invitation to all, to those who are thirsty, to those who are hungry, to those who do not have money, an invitation to approach the banquet table. Jesus is going to begin his mission, his mission to announce to those in need this God of abundance who is always ready to receive his children. Today, we have the opportunity to think not only about the baptism of Jesus, but about our own baptism as well. All of us have received the water of the Holy Spirit. And as the Father was pleased with His Son Jesus, so the Father is pleased with each one of us. By our baptism, we are called to the same mission as Jesus, to preach the love of God, heal the sick, comfort the suffering, extend God's forgiveness, and proclaim the good news of salvation. Perhaps it is difficult to see our life in the light of the mission of Jesus. However, we have the same call. We can preach the love of God in our own role within the family. 
with the children, with the parents, with the sick, with the depressed relative. It costs us patience and sacrifice. But the only way in which the individual can learn the loves of God is through the love shown by someone who approaches him with affection. We all know sick people. They are those who suffer from diseases of the body, but even more who suffer from diseases of the mind and soul. There are those who live outside the warmth of the family, those who live in isolation due to drugs, alcohol, or other addictions. Those who have given themselves to hatred and resentment. Those who lack self-esteem. Those who live locked in their own pride. They all suffer, and from our love, we can speak a word of encouragement to them. This is our baptismal vocation. By his own baptism, Jesus has made the old baptism rite the sacrament of the coming of the Spirit. Since then, every time someone is baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Heaven opens and the Spirit descends on the new son or daughter of God. And the voice of the Father addresses him or her, saying, You are my son, you are my daughter. What happened to our baptism? Perhaps we have not yet been fully aware of its meaning. It is never too late to find out and discover the wonder of being children of God. Because we are children of God, we can participate in the banquet that the Father prepared for his family. Every time we come to Mass, every time we celebrate Eucharist, we renew our baptism commitment and we enter again into the mission of Jesus. Let us thank God for his great gift of faith. And we thank God that he has adopted us as children in the beloved Son. Father, the Son, who the Father, the Son, of the Lord. 
for the church that we may allow the Holy Spirit to empower and enlighten us so that our lives might manifest that we are the beloved daughters and sons of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all Christians, that we may participate more fully in the mission of Jesus and place our gifts and talents in God's service. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who are discerning vocation choices, that God will give insight and courage to all who are discerning marriage, religious life, priesthood, deep diaconate, the single life, or ministry, and help them to respond generously and lovingly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the member of Congress, that God will give them a clear understanding of the struggles and sufferings of people, and courage to address the issues before them for the good of the nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect of human life, the heart that the hearts might be open to the value and dignity of all human life from conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have experienced violence, that God will heal, heal their wounds and memories, free them from fear, and protect them from further harms. We, pr we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, today we lift up Garth Camp, who is in critical condition after a car accident, and also for Father Rafael Munoz, well known about Father Junior, who has the coronavirus. That God's Spirit will rest upon them, relieve their suffering, and restore them to holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, today we lift up Chester Miller. That God having him in heaven, in his arms, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayer that we hold in the silence of our heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you make the springs of water and upon this earth holy through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. May we continually fulfill your promises, those promises we make in that baptism our entrance into the church. As we bring these prayers before you, we ask that you grant these through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and joys may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. So that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis of Assisi, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all of them. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind amends to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And I say, we have informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses,
During the communion procession, please maintain six feet apart with the cloth mask on and remove it only long enough to receive Holy Communion. The practice of the faithful receiving communion on the tongue is suspended. Holy Communion will be given in the hand only. The practice of the faithful receiving the precious blood is suspended. As a reminder that during the communion, you can drop off your offering in one of the baskets that will be in the front first pews on each side.
entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, uh, I will have confessions too, right after Mass. And when it warms up, I'll be outside, because I see a lot of COVID patients. Just a, a few uh, announcements. Wednesday we reopen again for religious education, uh, six o'clock. So those uh, children that is in religious education can come back. We use the same measurements for like for mass uh, distances themselves. Uh, we take all the precautions for them. Uh, on Fridays uh, at six o'clock, we have expositions uh, and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. For those, everyone is invited. Uh, on Thursday, we have one at ten o'clock. But this is a, a group of the Hispanic women that requested, so we have one at ten o'clock to to twelve. Uh, also, every year we celebrate. Christian unity, uh, and one of the things we did was, uh, actually, I think it was from Father Frank, uh, Festival of Hymns, and uh, every year we, uh, the choir of, the, of this church comes and sings. This year is going to change a little bit, it will be virtual, uh, it's going to be in January 28th, uh, so some of the songs will be recorded. All of the songs will be recorded, and then we they will be uh, set it up so they can be seen on that night, on the 28th. When I get that link, I will pass it to you, either to the bulletin or through your email. Uh, make sure that we have your email, so that way you can uh, direct it for that night or for that day, because it's going to be recorded, so you can look at it at any time after that day, or on that day, on the 28th, okay? Birthdays. Anyone celebrating birthday until Saturday, 11.59? Uh, wedding anniversary. Also, another announcement is on, not, this, not tomorrow, the following Monday, the 18th, we have the Parish Pastoral Council meeting at 6 o'clock. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and bring the good news to others. Thank you, God. Michael, the Archangel, the friend of the Lord, may your protection and the witness and the snares of the devil. May God reveal me. reminder I just came to me uh, as we leave we go through these doors start uh, through this door to the fellowship hall you can gather your uh, bulletin there on the right hand side round table uh, please do not gather just pick up and just keep going to your car I am so sorry but this is a guideline to the diocese has given us so we can Keep having Mass on Sundays.